All right, Andrew, today is the day you're going to propose to your girlfriend, Brandy. Oh, man, I'm so excited and extremely nervous. Whoa, what was that? Oh, my gosh, a car crash. Brandy! Andrew, please, help me, I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, just do something, save me. I'm too weak, I can't lift this car. Huh? Ow, ow, you're moving it more on my leg. Ow, ow. Andrew, are you okay? Oh, no, I think I threw up my back. All right, everybody, stay calm, stay calm. What happened here? The car crashed and I need help, please. My boyfriend tried to help and... Seriously? You're a weak idiot. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll help you out first and then we'll take care of that dumb boyfriend of yours. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I'm sick and tired of feeling so weak. I promise I'm going to be the strongest man in the world one day. I never want to be in that position again. And I can't help the people that I love. So I'm going to work out as hard as I can and I'm going to become the strongest person ever. Huh, huh, huh. Oh man, my asthma is really acting up. Maybe lifting weights is a whole lot easier. 30, 40 pounds? Cha, yeah, only 30 pounds? You're so weak, you idiot. We're all trying to do our best here. Yeah, no way. I've heard all about you. My brother was that EMT that saved your girlfriend's life. Wait, seriously? What kind of coincidence is that? Well, my brother's been telling everyone how pathetic you were. You were just laying there hurt while your girlfriend was in trouble. <laughs> hey, I tried my best to save her, okay? Maybe I wasn't strong enough then, but I'm going to be strong enough. Just wait and see. Oh, yeah? I bet you can't even lift a piece of paper. <laughs> just go home already. I'm not going anywhere because that's giving up. And the strongest person in the world does not give up. All right, let's go with this one. All right. Oh, man, this is heavy. Ow, ooh, ow. Wow, you really are a weakling. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't hurt too badly. I gotta go check up on Brandy. I'm actually feeling pretty good. My leg is almost fully healed. Hey, wait a second. Why do you look so sad? It's a good thing that I feel better. No, no, it is. It totally is. I just beat myself up a lot thinking about how I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry, Brandy. Andrew, it's okay that you didn't save me. Not everyone can lift a car. Plus, that's what EMTs and firefighters are for. Yeah, I know, but I love you so much and I had to do something. What are you doing here? Actually, I just hurt myself again trying to lift weights. <laughs> Seriously? I've never seen you lift more than a bag of groceries. Why were you doing that? Because I never want to feel that hopeless again. I know I'm weak. Probably the weakest person on the planet. But now, I'm going to be the strongest person ever. And I'm going to dedicate my life to helping people. I think that's a great idea. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? Because you could get hurt again. Hey, Brandy! Oh my gosh, Chet. Hi. What is he doing here? I just wanted to check on Brandy since she has a weak loser for a boyfriend. Seriously, dude, back <laughs> off, okay? She's my girlfriend. I did my best to try and save her. Yeah, well, I'm the one that ended up saving her. So you should be with the real hero, Brandy. Not some weak idiot. I am not a weak idiot! Guys, that's enough! Both of you, leave! The jerk Chet has no idea what he's talking about. I'm not a weak loser. I'm just weak. All right, let's get to it. Instead of 30 pounds, let's go up. Uh, let's go 15. All right, yeah, this isn't that bad. I can do this. Hey, man, what's up? Look, man, if you're going to make fun of me, just leave me alone. Whoa, hey, I'm not here to make fun of you. I saw you at the gym last week. My name's Reggie. Uh, hi, Reggie. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm surprised to see you back here, man. Most people go to the gym a couple times and just give up and never see him again. Well, thanks. Figure just one little setback shouldn't make me quit. You want to get stronger? Why don't I give you some help? Wait, really? Exactly, man. Yeah, man, I could definitely help you. And no offense, but you definitely need it. Yeah, I for sure do. I'm willing to take any advice you got for me. All right, let's do this. Weight is important, but it's mostly about the reps, man. Yeah, okay. Come on, man. Core strength is important. Let's go. Uh, uh, Come on, man. Hit the bag harder. Hit it. Hit it. You know, I feel really good about myself. Yeah, man, you should be. I can see some instant improvement out of you. You got this. All right, I can already feel myself getting stronger. I know I really want to dedicate myself to helping people, change my life, and do good. I think I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to be a firefighter. Excuse me, are you the fire chief? Yeah, name's Dale. How can I help you? Hi, Dale. My name is Andrew, and uh, I really want to be a firefighter. <laughs> Kid, that's funny. No, sir, it's not a joke. I would really want to be a firefighter. I was hoping you could tell me maybe how I could get started. Yeah, all right, all right. Look, hold your horses, all right? You got to be fair and honest with you, man. You need to be in a whole lot better shape to be a firefighter. You seem like a nice guy, but look at you. Your body's shaped like a pear with little 
pretzels from? Yeah, sure. I may not be in the best shape now, but I'm working out almost every single day. I feel my body getting stronger, and I know this is what I want to do. Look, I like your enthusiasm and your determination. That's what it takes to be a firefighter in this place. A lot of these boys could take no. Hey. Lunch over here. So please tell me, how do I get started? Well, first you gotta take a fitness test, and then you can get into Firefight Academy. A fitness test? I can do that. No problem. There's one coming up in a couple weeks. Signups are located online. Oh, thanks, Dale. I'll see you around. Yeah, I hope I see you around too. Freddy, was that my sandwich? Oh, right. I can do this. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I'm applying to be a firefighter, if it's any of your business. Here, what? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Oh, really? I'm glad my life dream is something so funny to you, Chet. A loser like you could never be a firefighter. I just still can't believe that Brandy would be with someone like you. Doesn't matter what you think. Brandy loves me for who I am. She probably sees right through you and your fake act. No matter what you think, I know what my goal is now, and I'm going to reach it. So just get out of my way, Chet. Hey, Reggie, we need to start stepping up my training. Stepping up your training? But why? Well, I need to pass a fitness test to get into the Firefighter Academy, so I've got to put the pedal to the metal. You know, if you dedicate yourself to this, you could become the strongest person ever, and I know that's your goal. Well, that's one of them. My first goal is to pass this test and become a firefighter. All right, dude, let's get to it. All right, and time. Man, that was a really good workout today. Yeah, it was. It felt really good. These past few months have been amazing. I really think I'm going to become the strongest person ever real soon. <laughs> Andrew, I love you, buddy, but you've got a long way to go. I have to admit, I am really proud of you from the progress you made. Oh, thanks, Reggie. I don't know if I'd be able to do it without your help. Why don't we get some food? Because I'm starving. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow, you look beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. You know, I'm so excited to see you. It's been so long since we've gone on a date together. Yeah, I know. Well, are you ready to head in? More than anything. Ah! Oh my gosh, what was that? That guy up there! Someone please help! Help! Hold on a second, Brandy. I gotta help this guy. Andrew, wait! It's alright, man. I'll just hold on tight, okay? Please hurry! Alright, what's your name? My name's Billy! Alright, Billy, just grab my hand. Ah! Whoa! Thank you so much! You saved me! No problem, man. I'm just glad I was nearby. You sure you're okay? Yeah, thanks to you. Man, I'm gonna quit this job. Oh my gosh, Andrew. That was incredible. You saved that man's life. I'm starting to feel a whole lot stronger, that's for sure. <coughs> Your asthma is still acting up. Yeah, but... But it's okay. I'm actually happy I was able to save somebody. Look at you, my big strong hero. Oh, stop it. Come on, let's go inside and celebrate. I'm gonna get you a nice, fancy meal. Hey, Reggie, you ready to get started? Yeah, man, you're here early. You look more determined than ever. Yeah, well, I'm ready to become stronger than I already am now. I saved someone's life last night. Wait, you did what? Some man tripped and fell off a building. He got stuck and I was able to save him. Whoa, dude, that's impressive. See, look, you're already getting stronger. Yeah, I am, and I need to keep going. I want to make a difference in the world, man. Dude, you're going to make a difference. Trust me. But these workouts are going to be a lot more intense now. Yeah, well, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> you say that now, but let's get started. Huh, how was my time? Dude, that was the fastest time that you've done yet. All right, let's go. Oh, man, I feel so pumped. Man, I've got to say, you've gotten into such incredible shape. You're way stronger than you were before. Yeah, and I feel a whole lot better, too. How's your asthma doing? Well, actually, I think it's starting to get a little better. I feel myself a little less out of breath more and more each day. Great, that's awesome. But I'm still far away from my goal. Yeah, well, I think you're going to pass the fitness test with ease at the fire department. Hey, Dale! Andrew! Is that you? Dude, you look incredible! Yeah, man, I told you I was gonna improve. Been a long time. I'm kinda shocked to see this transformation. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to sign up for the fitness test. I wanna get into the Firefighter Academy. Oh, yeah, no problem. We got a test coming up next week. I'll be there. What on earth are you even doing here? I'm taking the fitness test. You really think you can pass? <laughs> That's a funny joke. Honestly, Chet, the joke is you. I am going to pass, and I'm going to get right into that firefighter school. Probably finish first in my class, too. You don't deserve to be a firefighter. You have no idea what it's like to save a life. Actually, Chet, I do know what it's like to save a life. And if you'll excuse me, I have a test to pass. All right, Andrew, are you ready? More than ever. Excellent. Now the test is timed. You gotta run through the course and get to the finish line in one piece. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I can do this. I got this. I'm gonna become a firefighter. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man, my leg. Andrew, Andrew, are you okay? I think I'm okay. It's just my leg. Oh! I'm sorry, Andrew, but uh, time's run out. You failed the test. Ow, ow, ow. It's all right. Don't worry. You're just fine. 
Oh, well, it hurts really bad. What happened, Doc? Well, unfortunately, kid, you broke your ankle. Now you can't work out until it heals. Seriously? I need to take time off the gym? How long are we talking? Like a couple days or... A couple days? Try a couple months. You need to take it really easy and let this broken ankle heal properly. Come on, Doc. I can't be out of the gym for that long. Well, you don't really have a choice now, do you? I guess I really don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta attend to some other patients. I'll be back later. Man, this sucks. Hey, how you feeling? Oh, Dale, hi. I I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling good. I heard the doctor. Broken ankle, huh? Yeah, and I guess I'll be out of the gym for a while while too. Man, I gotta say, it really sucks that you didn't pass the fitness test. Well, we got more coming up, so you can always take it again. Really? Well, that's some good news, at least. You definitely have to take it again next time. Yeah, well, good luck, and rest up, okay? Keep yourself in one piece. We'll need you at your best if you're gonna pass and join the team. I will, I, I promise. I'll catch you later, Andrew. Oh, man, I feel more determined than ever. I know for a fact I'm gonna pass that exam. Ah, oh, I just gotta let this heal first. All right, I know the doctor said I still have some more time to heal, but I feel fine. I can do this. I can work out with a broken ankle. All right, let's just start with some basic weights. Oh, oof. Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the one-legged wonder. <laughs> Man, I really got to start working out at another gym. What do you want? I just came to say that I'm so sorry you didn't pass the fitness test. I guess you just really weren't strong enough. I was strong enough. It was just an accident, that's all. The accident was letting you take that test in the first place. Just face it, you're not never gonna be strong enough. Chet, why don't you leave Andrew alone? Or do you want to deal with me? Tch, whatever. I'm just here to work out, man. You know, I feel much better. I'm, I can get back to it. Oh, no, you can't. Look at you. You're a mess. How bad does that ankle hurt? It hurts pretty bad, but it's fine. It's really fine. I, I know I can do this. Listen, Andrew, I know that you want to be strong, but you can't do anything if you're hurt. A strong person knows when to rest. Just go home, okay? Reggie, I don't want to just give up. You're not giving up. It's smarter for you to heal up and then come back. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Whenever you're ready, we can get back to it. So, it's been a month now, Andrew. How's your ankle feeling? I think I'm basically back to 100% now. I'm just gonna start going back to the gym with Reggie, and I'm gonna get back on track. You know, I gotta say, you are so determined to do this. It's really nice to see. Well, I'm just determined on reaching my goal, that's all. I set it for myself, and I have to meet it no matter what. I agree, Andrew, but I just don't want you to overwork yourself. I worry about you. I'll be fine, Brandy. Don't worry. You better be fine, Andrew. This goal of yours is great, but I don't want it to hurt you. I I promise, I'm not gonna push myself too far and I'll be careful. Hey, Brandy. Wow, you're looking incredible today. It's great to see you. Oh, hey, it's good to see you too, Chet. You're seriously still with this loser? <laughs> It's honestly unbelievable. Wait, Brandy, I got this. Chet, back off me and my girlfriend. Get lost. I'm just trying to show Brandy what she's missing out on, man. Look, if you're ever looking to ditch this zero and you actually get with a real hero, you know where to find me. Well, it looks like your ankle's all healed up. Now it's time to get back to work, Andrew. Dude, I am more than ready to get back in this gym. I've honestly missed this place. This is going to be tougher than before, but this is where the real growth comes. Don't worry. I can handle it. I want to be even stronger than I was the last time I took that fitness test. So when are you going to take the test? Probably taking it another week. Soon I'm going to be the strongest person ever. I already feel like I'm getting closer to that goal. All right. Just the last bit left. I got this. I can do this. And finished. Oh, man. Andrew, you passed the test. Honestly, you broke my record. Oh, man. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to say that. Welcome to the Firefighter Academy, Andrew. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Dale. You thought that was a hard test? Being a firefighter is not an easy job. We are risking our lives on a daily basis to save others. And that's what I want to do. I want to save people. And I'm more than up to the task. Are you sure this is what you want? Because one once you go back, no, trust me, this is absolutely what I want. All right, I can't wait for you to start class. All right, Andrew, this is your first fire. You ready? Yeah, more than anything. What do you need me to do? Help me, please! Help me! Oh, there's someone still inside. Don't worry, I'll go get him. Hold on, Andrew, wait! Don't go in on your own! Oh, man, this fire is super intense. <laughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> hey, is anybody here? Help me, please! Help! Oh. I'm here. Help me, I'm stuck! Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. All right, follow me out. I can't see. <laughs> oh, the smoke is so bad. I know, but don't worry. I got you. Oh, you saved my life. Thank you. Uh, all in a day's work, man. Don't worry. I'm glad you're okay. No way. He actually did it? <laughs> I won't let him succeed. I can't. <sighs> Just finishing up my lap and 
All right, done. Oh, man, that was a nice jog. Time to treat myself to a little coffee. Well, 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 look who it is. If it isn't the new hero in town. Just minding my own business, Chet. Why don't you mind yours? How can I possibly do that when your stupid attempt at being a firefighter went horrible? What are you talking about? I saved a man's life. Sure, but you look like an idiot doing it. Why do you hate me so much? You barely know me. You do nothing but put me down. What is your problem? You know what? Fine, I'll tell you. I've always been the strongest and the coolest person. I was the one that broke records and saved people. Not you. Now you're trying to act like you're so big and so strong. You think you're better than me, don't you? No, I don't. I don't think that way at all. I'm gonna be the one that gets all the attention. Not you, you loser. Seriously, that's what you're doing this for? I thought you were doing it to help save people's lives, man. It's so lame. I'm gonna make sure that you fail. And I'm also gonna make sure that the world sees you for the fake pathetic loser that you are. You'll never be the strongest person in the world. 98, 99, 100. Ooh, Andrew, that was a good job. That's your new personal best. Thanks, Reggie. You know, I'll keep beating these goals. Soon, I don't know if I'll have any more to beat. Only 100 reps? <laughs> Dude, how are you still so weak? Actually, that's pretty good. With only 100 reps, you're never going to be strong enough for the lifting competition. What are you talking about? Well, it's exactly what I just said. And whoever wins will be considered the strongest person ever. Me and Chet are going to enter. We're going to battle it out to see who's the strongest. Well, count me in. You're kidding, right? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. I'm definitely down to join that competition. Yeah, there's no way you're ever gonna win it. Yeah? Well, why don't we just wait for the competition and find out, huh? See who the strongest really is. Well, it's gonna be me, so just don't even bother. 48, 49, 50. All right, what's next? Hey, chicken legs, we gotta talk. Seriously? Yeah, a little birdie told me that you're gonna be at the lifting tournament. I am guessing that little birdie is your dumb brother, Chad. Yeah, it was my brother, Chad. What makes you think you can join the competition anyway? Um, it's a pretty open enrollment. I just actually filled out a little application and- Just shut up, dude. You're so annoying. Hey, Chad, what's wrong? Seems as though you're upset that you actually have competition now. Competition? Yeah, right. I'm just annoyed that you'd even think about about trying to join. I think you might be upset that there's someone else that could win this competition. And that would embarrass you, wouldn't it? There's no way you're gonna beat me. I am gonna beat you. Just wait and... Uh-oh, this is not good. Hey, Chief? Andrew, there's an emergency. We need you at the firehouse right away. I'll be right there. Chief, what's the problem? There's a tornado hitting downtown. We need to get over there and start helping people evacuate. Downtown? Brandy lives downtown. Yeah, a lot of people live downtown. This is an emergency, Andrew. We gotta get moving. Oh, no. The place is completely destroyed. Oh, where could she be? Brandy? Somebody please help me. Help! Wait, that's her. Brandy, oh my gosh, are you okay? Andrew, please, I need help. Just like last time, you're too weak to pick up that car. Some hero you are. Not now, Chet. Brandy, I'm gonna lift the car off of you, okay? Look, just wait for the machine to get over here, okay? That car is clearly way too heavy for you. No, it's not. I've been working towards this moment. All right, Brandy, on the count of three, I'm going to lift the car. Okay, just hurry. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Andrew, you did it. You saved me. Yeah, I did. I'm so glad you're okay. No way. I can't believe this. So I'm thinking about taking Brandy on a vacation sometime soon. Ah, just somewhere nice, you know, somewhere we can get away and escape. Hey, Andrew, I just wanted to tell you that I'm really proud of you. Proud of me? What are you talking about, Reg? I know you've been working really hard these past few months. You've come a long way, man. You stuck with it, and it's showing. Staying true to Brandy, you've become an inspiration, man, to me. Really? Because you're the one that inspired me, dude. Come on. No, I'm serious. I'm really happy to see the person that you've become. Yeah, I am too. I was able to transform myself, and now I can really help people. You know how I've been keeping track of what you've been lifting, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I think you might be closer to lifting the world record. You've got to be kidding. Really? Yeah, man. You keep trying, and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Could you imagine me beating a world record? That would be so cool. I think that's another goal added onto the list. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Shh, be quiet. Sorry, dude. Gotta make sure we're not caught, okay? I just can't believe we can't lift as much as Andrew anymore. Yeah, like, how do you get so strong? I don't know. He's always been a weak loser. And you know what? I'm not gonna lose this competition. 
Yeah, so what are you gonna do? I don't know. You got any bright ideas? Uh, I don't know. Maybe switch his weights or something? If the weights are crazy heavy, there's no way he could lift it, right? That's a great idea. I'm so glad I thought of it. Hey, there's no way he's gonna be able to lift this. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yeah, time to do a little warm up. What the heck? What? What is it? Uh, uh, oh man, I can't seem to lift this weight at all. What are you talking about? That's the weight you usually start with. Yeah, I know, but something's not right. Uh, oh, what's the matter? I can't lift that super light weight anymore, Andrew. Something must be wrong with the weights, that's all. Wrong with the weights? That sounds an awful lot like you've been cheating this whole time. Cheating? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I bet you've been using fake weights. I've been working out with Andrew for a long time now. He's never used fake weights once. And why should I trust you? Chet, don't get me started. All right, guys, enough. You did something to these weights, didn't you, Chet? No way. You're just a poor, pathetic weakling as always. I knew it from the start. Shut up, Chet. No, Reggie, stop. He's not worth it. I'm gonna go home. Oh, look, the poor baby's giving up again. <laughs> Andrew, what's wrong? Just some stupid trick Chet pulled at the gym. What did he do? I don't know exactly. He must have messed with my weights or something. I couldn't even get started with my workout. That's not like you at all. Yeah, I know. It's just so frustrating. Hey, don't worry. It'll be okay. I still believe in you no matter what. Just got in my head is all, you know? I thought for a split second that, like, I didn't do all those things I was doing, you know? Well, I'm proud of you for everything that you've done. You're stronger, healthier, and you're one of the best firefighters in town, constantly saving lives. Well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna become the strongest person ever, remember? How could I forget? You tell me all the time. I'm gonna go to that weightlifting competition, and I'm going to win it. And I'm gonna break the world record, too. That's great, Andrew. I'm just a little worried. Worried about what? I promise I've learned so much about working out now that I'm not gonna hurt myself while I do this. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried that you're doing this for the, for the wrong reason. Or what do you mean by that? Are you trying to prove to yourself or are you doing it to prove it to Chet? I'm doing it for both. You know, I wanna put that jerk in his place. And even if I have to start over from the whole beginning, I will. I'm gonna work super hard and prove it to him, myself, and everyone else. I know I can do this. I know you can too, and I have faith in you. All right, I got this, and done, huh? <sighs> wow, Andrew, that was a really fast 50 miles. I think you're in the best shape of your life now. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know why I could barely lift the other day. It was so weird. It just got in my head, I psyched myself out. You see, I've been meaning to tell you about that. Turns out that the normal weights were switched with heavier ones. They even somehow got the labels changed and everything. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. No one alone could lift that much weight. Like, say maybe big, tough, strong brother. What are you trying to get at? Oh, I knew it. Chet, he was the one that tried to sabotage me. He's been at it from the start. Man, it just makes me so mad. I want to beat them more than ever now. I'm going to keep working harder and show them. Well, well, it's the cheater himself. Have you come to confess yet? Come to confess that I know the truth, Chet. You were the one that messed with the weights, didn't you? What? What are you talking about? You've been trying to sabotage me since the moment you met me, dude. Look, I don't need to sabotage you. I'm still gonna win that competition. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. And when I do, I'm gonna get you fired from the fire station. Fired from the fire station? How? How are you even gonna do that? Oh, I've got my ways. Don't you worry. Chet, honestly, it seems as though you're the one that's worried. Worried that I'm going to embarrass you in front of a big group of people at that competition. What? No way. I I'm not nervous at all. I can see it on your face right now. Yeah, whatever. You're going down at that competition. Just shut up and stay out of my way. You are the one that needs to shut up and stay out of my way. I'm sick of you messing with me. This ends now, Chad. Whatever. You know, I gotta say, it's nice we're all having dinner together. Yeah, Andrew, this was really a great idea. One of the few good ideas he's had. But Andrew, Reggie and I have been talking and we just wanted to say how proud we are of you. Wait, really? Yeah, man, of course. Seeing your journey from a long time ago till now, it's really impressive and inspiring. You don't let anything stop you and you work as hard as you can. And you stay true to yourself. That's the most important. Well, thanks, Reggie, for always believing in me. And a special thanks to you, Brandy. You've been my rock throughout this whole thing. So what's all this about? You take us to a fancy dinner to thank us? Sort of. I wanted to spend this special night with two of the most important people in my life. But more so you, Brandy. Me? What are you talking about, goofball? Well, I love you. And I love you too. And I'm glad I have my best friend Reggie here, because I don't know if I'd have the confidence to do it if he wasn't. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Andrew? 
What is going on? Brandy, you are the love of my life. Oh my gosh. When you got into that first accident, I was planning on doing this then. Things have gotten so crazy and, and I lost track of time, but I'm on track now and I finally got the strength to ask you, will you marry me? Andrew, yes. Yes, of course. I'm so happy. It's about time you two figured this out. Oh, shut up, Reg. Andrew, the ring is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it and I love you. I love you guys a whole lot. And with you by my side, there's nothing I can't do. Like taking first in that lifting competition? Oh, he's gonna win it, Brandy. Trust me. Andrew, I need to talk to you. Chet, I'm really not in the mood for this right now. Look, it's serious, so just listen, okay? Fine, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to apologize. Apologize? All right, I'm not falling for no, this. No, I'm being serious. I just felt insecure that I wouldn't be the coolest person anymore. Really? Chet, dude, you shouldn't care about what other people think about you. The only thing that matters is what you think. Look, I know you're right. That's why I'm saying sorry. I really want to make it up to you. I heard about this amazing hiking path that we could hit up. Maybe we can go on a run or something. Really, Chet? I, I don't know. Come on, man. I I'm really trying here. Well, if you're serious, guess I don't see anything wrong with that. Awesome. Great. I'll text you the address. How much further do we need to go? It's just here, right up ahead. Look. Here? Seriously? I don't know, man. This is way out here. Some nature before the competition should be good. How long did you say this path was? It's just a couple miles. But there's a sweet waterfall when you get to the end. Well, that's kind of cool. Why don't you go out ahead of me? You can take a look around. You know, this actually is kind of nice. Maybe we actually will be friends. Yeah, right. Me be friends with a weakling like you? Later, loser. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't be serious, Chet. How could I have fallen for this? Yeah. And now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. How am I going to make the competition tomorrow? I'm going to get back there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the weightlifting competition of the year. We're about to get started in just a few minutes. Hey, uh, Chet, looks as though you're the only contestant here. Where is everyone else? <laughs> How should I know? Guess they're all just too scared. Well, they've got about five more minutes before they're disqualified. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like I am going to be the strongest person ever. Just wait, I'm here. Sorry. Well, it took you long enough. There's no way. You thought you could get rid of me that easily? Just think again, Chet. All right, I don't really care what's going on here. Let's get this weightlifting competition started. Ladies and gentlemen, up first is Chet. Chet, you need to lift this bus. That'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, Andrew, you're up next. You think that's impressive? Check this out. Wait, where is he going? Ladies and gentlemen, he's running over to a plane. Oh, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, well, I can easily lift that too. Oh, oh my back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our winner of the competition is Andrew. Yes, yes, I did it. You've just beaten the world record for lifting. Wilson, why don't you go catch a ball? You got it, coach. Ha! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Wilson, do you have any idea how to play football? You gotta watch out for Brad, too. Sorry, Wilson, but you failed. I failed? A weak loser like you will never make the team, obviously. I'll do better, I promise. Look, Wilson, if you really want to be part of the team, I guess you can be uh, the water boy or something. The water boy? Come on! Well, about time you came home. Sorry, Dad, I was just really busy. Let me guess, out trying for the football team again. I told you not to waste your time. But Dad, it's my dream. I'm gonna be the greatest football player ever. Glad you got a dream, Wilson, but it can't be this. Well, why not? That sport is far too dangerous. You're gonna get yourself hurt. I mean, look at you. You're definitely not built to be a football player. Well, this is what I wanna do. Well, sometimes what we wanna do isn't what we're gonna do. Football's not meant for you, Wilson. Dad. I'm your father and what I say goes around here. Just give it up. Man, this sucks. I should be the one out there playing. I belong out there. Yeah, water idiot. You want to do your job and give us some water or what? <sighs> yeah, sure. Here you go. Hey, thanks, Wilson. Yeah, thanks. Ugh, this water's disgusting. I knew you couldn't even do this right. Dude, it's just water. Yeah, and this is all you're going to ever amount to, loser. A water boy. So helplessly watching from the sidelines. It looked like you were about to cry. Oh, boo. Shut up, Brad. I should be out there playing and not you. You cheated during that tryout. Cheated? What are you talking about? Dude, you didn't even give me a chance. You sabotaged everything I tried to do. Dude, it was the practice. It's not my fault that you're so weak and slow. If you weren't, maybe you would have caught it and gotten away. But you did it because you suck. That's why you're wrong, Brad. You don't know anything about me. I can do this. 
All right, well, if I'm gonna make the team next time, I'm gonna do so much training. Let's get started. <sighs> oh man, this thing's going pretty fast. <gasps> oh, ow. All right, maybe this will work better. One, two. Oh man, I'm kind of getting lightheaded. Three. God. Hey, Wilson. Dude, it's good to see you here, man. Oh, TJ, hey. What are you doing here? Oh, I work out here too. Man, I wanted to say, I saw you at tryouts before. You did pretty good, and I'm sorry you didn't make the team. That's ah, okay. I'll join the team soon. Don't worry. Yeah, with that determination, you definitely will. Yo, bro, you ready to work out or? Oh, oh no way. Wilson? Dude, what are you doing here? I'm just getting a workout in, Brad. Oh, getting a workout in, huh? Little guy lifting little weights. TJ, were you making fun of this loser? No, Brad, I wasn't making fun of him. Look at him. He can barely hold the weight. What is that? 15 pounds? Oh, pathetic. Brad, you're such a jerk. What did you just say to me? I said you're a jerk. Everyone has to start somewhere. I'll show you, Brad. Look at this. Oh, uh, Wilson, don't. That's over 100 pounds. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Man, I can't believe you did that. You really hurt yourself back there. I know. Thanks, TJ, for your help. Do me a favor. Don't let Brad get to you like that. He's just a jerk. I know. It's just so tough. But listen, dude, if you really want to get stronger, you can come and train with me instead. Wait, really? You don't think I'm a loser like Brad? No, of course not, dude. If you keep training hard and you stay determined, you're going to make the team. I kind of want to see you there. Wow, well, thank you so much. I'll think about it, okay? Yeah, no problem, dude. I'll see you later. See ya. Ah, hey, Dad. What is all this, Wilson? What happened? It's nothing, Dad. Just don't worry about it. Better not be football again. Focus on your schoolwork. Dad, I am focusing on school, but my passion is football. This is what I want to do. You're never going to succeed at football, Wilson. I mean, look at you. You look like a mess. Gee, thanks, Dad. Get yourself cleaned up for dinner. I don't want to hear any more about this football nonsense. Man, chemistry sucked today. That was the worst Two, quiz ever. Ah! So, look at this. Stupid wannabe football player Wilson can't even handle a single blitz. Oh. Oh, what the heck, Brad? Knock it off. Oh my gosh, you can't even take a single joke, can you? Dude, your life is a joke. Get used to it. You're the joke for picking on me. You're the joke for thinking you can be a football player. It's not my fault you ended up being a water boy. What are you talking about? It totally is. You're going to be nothing more than a weak loser, Wilson. Everyone knows it. Right, guys? Oh. Yeah, he's super weak. Ah, uh, guy sucks. Brad, I am not a weak loser. I'm going to become a better player than you'll ever be. Uh, really? We'll see about that. Oh. Uh -huh. You know, Wilson, I'm really glad you took me up on my offer. This is going to be awesome. Well, I'm just glad you offered it all. The only way I can be a better football player is if I can get stronger. Yeah, you got that right. You have a long way to go, but I know you can do this. Are you ready to get started? Oh, you know I am. All you need to do is pace yourself. And keep getting faster. There's only 23. You got two more. Nice. Good form. Keep it up. So, man, you've done a whole month worth of hard training. How do you feel? Honestly, TJ, I feel better than I've ever felt. Yeah, dude, you also look incredible. You've become so much stronger. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for all the help. Dude, it wasn't really all me. I was just there to guide you. You had the hard work and determination. I mean, honestly, you're going to outpace me soon enough. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do, for sure. You're going to be on the team in no time. I just know it. You know, we're going to have tryouts again. They'll be back soon. Seriously? Well, this time, I'm going to make the team. Brad can't stop me this time. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Dude, nice throw, man. Are you kidding? Dude, well, nice catch. I threw that pretty far. Yeah, you did. Man, you're getting way better at the mechanics of this. Really? You think so? Uh, yeah, I know so. You basically already throw better than Brad. <laughs> what? What did you just say? What's going on here? Uh, we're just practicing, Brad. Yeah, it's not illegal to practice here. Uh, yeah, it is. No one's allowed to practice without my permission. I'm the star of the team, and this is my field. Oh, yeah? Well, you won't be the star for much longer. Seriously, Wilson? Oh, keep running your mouth, dude. See how far it gets you. Probably longer than your stupid, skinny little legs. Brad, just leave him alone, dude. Cut it out. No, why don't you cut it out, TJ? I don't know what your problem is. Can't believe you're still hanging out with this loser. We used to be friends. Yeah, well, not really anymore, dude. Well, you know what, dude? If you want to waste your time with this pathetic nobody, fine. So be it. I wouldn't spend more than two minutes on him. Just get lost, Brad. Ugh, whatever.
All right, team, let's get this practice over with. Hey, water boy, why don't you uh get water? Yeah, sure. Thanks, coach. Where is everybody? No one's open. Oh, this is so stupid. Brad, what are you doing? I'm gonna run it myself. I can do it all on my- Oh, no, no. Brad, Brad, are you no. okay? Oh, I think I hurt myself, coach. Yeah, it looks like a sprained ankle. Way to go, Brad. I was trying, coach. Everyone else just sucked. Well, someone's gonna need to replace you in practice until your ankle heels this is my chance coach let me do it what water boy no i'm not thirsty right now no not water i'm talking about taking a spot i'll try out for the position the answer is no now go have those waters ready for practice or something uh, you know what i'm gonna practice anyway hey tj heads up wait what all right this is my chance go long huh i got it i got it uh, caught it nice oh my gosh i just threw a touchdown hey Water boy, get over here right now. Look, coach, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't supposed to be practicing. That was one of the best passes I have seen in years. Wait, really? Yeah, absolutely. How do you feel about being the new quarterback for the team? The new quarterback? What? Are you kidding me? No way. Coach, that's not fair. I, I can still play. On a busted ankle? Yeah, right. Wilson, welcome to the team. Dad, dad, I've got great news. Dad, where are you? What is it, Wilson? What is going on? Dad, you're never going to believe this, but I made the football team. I'm now the new quarterback. You're what? Yeah, isn't that great? It's not the word I would use. What? I thought I told you to quit that sport, but you didn't listen to me, did you? Dad, it's my dream. Of course I didn't quit. That sport is far too dangerous. All you're going to do is get yourself hurt. This is terrible, terrible. Well, Dad, I'm not the same person that I was before. I'm stronger now. And I could take a couple hits. Yeah, that's what they all say until they get injured. I can't believe they'd let you join that team. I'm going to give Coach Barty a call. You're what? I'm going to call him first thing tomorrow and tell him you're quitting. That's it. No, Dad. You don't have to do that. I'll tell him that I'm quitting. Yeah, well, you better. Well, I'm one step closer to my goal. I made the team, but I gotta keep pushing myself. If I wanna be a great football player, I've gotta have my body built for it. Oh, well, let's get to it, man. But hold on a sec. You think it was right to lie to your dad about this? Yeah, it'll be fine. My dad won't ever know. I'm gonna keep playing football a secret as long as I possibly can. Well, all right then. I know how bad you want this, so we're gonna be training a whole lot harder than before, dude. I hope you're ready for it. Oh, I'm more than ready. Whoa, dude, look at you go. You're faster than before. Come on, dude, two more reps. You can do this. Whoa, careful. You're gonna knock the bag off the chain. Oh, man, I'm feeling better than ever. Well, you're in fighting shape, and our first game is coming up, and I think you're finally ready for it now. All right, boys, let's start our usual practice. Let's go. Huh, I'm gonna get you, Wilson. All right, and let's go. <laughs> oh. ha, you missed me. <laughs> wow, well, what'd you think, coach? Another smooth deflection. Incredible work, Wilson. You know, I'm impressed with all the progress you've been doing as quarterback lately. Well, it's also thanks to your coaching. I've learned so much from you. Yeah, well, of course you have. Incredible coach. But because of you, we've won every game so far. We're in an incredible position. And we're invited to partake in the state championship. Hey, coach, look who's back. Whoa, hey, Brad. No need to have this loser fill in for me anymore. I'm all healed up and I'm ready to have my spot back. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Brad, but uh, Wilson has become the full-time quarterback of the team. We're good. No, 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 come on, coach, please. That's not fair. I was just out for a little bit. Sorry once again, Brad, but if you're willing to play backup quarterback, we'll uh, need you on the bench. That's for sure. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe that my plays have gone viral. I mean, look at this video. It's got over a million views. All these people in the comments, they just can't stop talking about me. Honestly, this is fantastic. People are realizing how much hard work I've put in. Just one step closer to my goal. Huh? Who could that be? Hello, can I help you? Hey, you're Wilson, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's me. Do I know you? You don't, but now you do. I'm actually the football scout for Eastside College. And let me tell you, kid, we've been very impressed with your skills. Wait, seriously? That's right. We'd actually like to offer you a full ride scholarship. Full ride? Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for the offer. Yes, well, actually, I'd like to talk to your dad about this first. My dad? 
Oh no! Yeah, you know. Just some paperwork, some signatures, all that stuff. No, no, you, you can't see him right now. What are you talking about, kid? My dad is, uh, sick. Yeah, he's sick and he can't see anyone right now. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Well, we'll definitely be in touch soon. Don't worry. And I do hope you take us up on the offer. Trust me, sir, I'm really interested. Thanks again. Whew. That was close. Wilson, who was that outside? I heard someone knocking at the door. Yeah, it was just, uh, Girl Scouts. You know, selling their cookies and stuff. What? And you didn't tell me? I would have bought a box of Thin Mints. Ugh, good for nothing. All right, boys, we got to get ready for the state championship in a few days. I want drills around the clock, and I want you all to give it your best shot. We could win this this year, and I want to go home with that trophy. So, with that being said, let's start practice. And set. Ah! All right, enough, enough. Brad, what the heck was that? You weren't supposed to tackle Wilson. I was just dealing with the other opponents with Duke Coach, making sure our superstar quarterback was ready. Yeah, well, clearly breaking rules of practice won't set him up for success. Wilson, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Let me just, ow! Yeah, clearly you're not okay. I think you need to go to the hospital. Ah! No, no, no! Uh -huh. So, Doc, how bad's the injury? Injury? What injury? You're totally fine. I am? Oh, thank goodness. Of course you're not fine, you idiot. Ugh, your ankle is broken. It's broken? Oh, no! Yeah, shattered pretty good. Haven't seen one broken like this in years. Well, Doc, thanks for taking care of Wilson. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> Getting sick of this. So, how you feeling, bud? I mean, it's just a broken ankle. I think I'll be fine enough to play at the state championship tomorrow. What? You can't play on that. We're gonna get two seconds of you out on the field, and then it's gonna be over. Not to mention, you could hurt yourself even more. Sorry, Wilson, but you can't play in the championship. No, no! This isn't how it's supposed to happen! I know, buddy, I know. I'm pretty disappointed, too. But Brad's gonna have to be quarterback in the game tomorrow. You can't be serious! Brad's the one that did this to me! Look, injury is just gonna be part of this sport sometimes. Nothing much we can do about it. And we can't postpone the state championship. Trust me, I, uh, called and tried. So that's how it is then, huh? Just heal up and, uh, we'll get back at it next season. I promise. Ah! Man, this sucks! It does suck, doesn't it? You know what's even worse? Finding out that your son lied to you for months! Look, Dad. No, you look, Wilson! Look at yourself! I told you that football was a dangerous sport, and look at where it got you, huh? I don't need to hear it from you. Injuries are just part of the sport, Dad. It's not gonna stop me from playing. You got lucky this was just an ankle injury. What if you broke your whole leg? Or worse? Well, none of that matters. Look, just, just leave me alone. I need to get ready for state. You're not going anywhere, mister. You are grounded, and you're not allowed to go to that game. Dad, come on. Stop acting like this. Acting like what? Your father? Responsible, trying to watch out for you and take care of you? You are are unbelievable, young man. So disrespectful. I'm not gonna let you play this stupid sport any longer. It is over, Wilson, and that's that. How can my dad not understand that this is my dream? He always just says, huh, you're gonna hurt yourself, but I don't care. I am gonna help my team win state, whether he wants me to or not. Come on, don't make too much noise. Brad, what are you doing? Coach, what is the problem? You keep turning over the ball, and we're eventually going to lose the game. Yeah, we're still going to win this, Coach. Trust no, me. No, we're not. Your head is not in the game tonight, Brad. You're benched. What? Come on, you can't bench me. Sorry, Brad. Shut up, TJ. Oh, you suck. We're going to need a miracle if we're going to win this game. Well, then it's a good thing that I'm here. Wilson? Put me in, Coach. I'm ready. Wilson, we already talked about this. You can't play. Your ankle is broken. I don't care. I'm gonna win the state championships with or without a broken ankle. You are crazy, kid, but I'm out of quarterback, so you're in. Wilson, you need to be careful. Don't worry, TJ. I will be. We're gonna win this thing. All right, hut, hut, hike! <laughs> no! Oh, you're not getting away from oh, me. Oh, yeah? Watch me! He is wide open. There's no one able to catch him, and Roblox High scores, and they've won the state championship. Up next in the RFL draft is one of the most prestigious teams out there. And the first draft goes to Brad Smelt. Oh, this is awesome. I've been drafted by the RFL. Now tell me, Brad, this must be the biggest moment of your life. Yeah, so far. Not until I win the Super Bowl, of course. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course. You know your former teammate Wilson's also going to be drafted as well. Oh, yeah, that's good for him. I'm glad he finally put all those things behind him. All those things? What are, what are we talking about here? Oh, Wilson had a lot of anger issues back in high school. 
Honestly, not a team player at all. Dude was kind of a wild card. Well, that's not good at all, but we'll see what he has in store for us. Nick, what's going on? I hate to break it to you, Wilson, but uh, there's a rumor going around about you. A rumor? I guess someone said something about you being a bad player. Anchor issues, I believe. What? Well, none of that's true. Yeah, you know that. I know that. But a lot of those teams don't know that. You might not get drafted at all. No, no, that can't happen. You're my agent. Can't you do something? I don't really know if there's anything I can do. Huh? I wonder who this could be. Hello? Hello, am I speaking to Wilson? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, awesome. Okay, my name is Coach Reese. I uh, coach the Robloxians. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, what can I do for you? Well, uh, we just drafted Brad as our main quarterback, but uh, we're going to need a backup. What do you say? Are you in? Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm totally in. All right, awesome, awesome. Just got a couple questions for you, okay? First, want to know. Are those rumors true about you? No, absolutely not. All right, you sure you're a team player? Because teamwork is a pillar over here at the Robloxian team. Absolutely. All right, all right, good. I'll send you guys an email with all the information you need. You're the final pick of the draft. Congratulations. You guys call that a practice? That was terrible. I want better work from you guys tomorrow, that's for sure. Wilson, what's up with you, huh? You're missing a lot of throws in practice. That's not good, Wilson. Not good looks at all. Look, I know. I'm sorry. It's just been an off day. You know you and Brad are competing for starting quarterback position. If you keep this up, you're not starting, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. So keep playing terrible, Wilson. It'll be so good for me. I deserve that starting position, and it's all gonna be mine. Oh. Yeah, right, Brad. Just shut up already. What? I thought you were great. I thought you were an awesome football player. I guess not. <laughs> <sighs> I'll show them both. I'm gonna get that starting quarterback position. It's been a while since I even talked to my dad. I hope he's doing all right, and I hope he likes this new house I just got him. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. There. Uh, okay. Well, how do you like the new house? You know, there are some perks to being a professional football player after all. Yeah, this place sucks. There's no money in football. It's not going to last forever. You're going to be done and that's it. And you're going to be nothing. Dad, come on. How long has it been? You still don't accept my career as a football player. This is my dream, you know? Yeah, dreams end and stupid, stupid old dreams. Dad, I've been doing great, and I've been helping you so much in the process, and I don't even get a thank you. I told you when you were younger, football was not for you. It's not meant to be a career, because it's not going to last. I don't have to stand here and listen to this. I don't even know why I try. Yeah, don't let the door hit you on the way out. <sighs> yeah, the park's just up ahead. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. Man, I needed a break. Dude, you're getting so much faster than me. It's not fair. Oh, well, I've been training a lot more. Yeah, and honestly, dude, you've been seeming a little distant. Distant? What are you talking about? Well, I can tell something is bothering you, dude. So out with it. What's going on? Well, to be honest, TJ, this whole starting quarterback battle is starting to get to me. Dude, I feel like nothing gets to you. I mean, you won state championship with a broken ankle. Yeah, well, it's just my dad. And if I lose this quarterback battle, my dad would never let me live it down. And he'd be right. All these years of trying to tell me not to be a football player, he'd have been right all along. I just don't know that all the hard work I put into this was worth anything. Do you hear yourself right now? Are you serious? Look at how far you've come. Not everybody can get drafted into an RFL football team, let alone make a pro and be good at it. Trust me, Wilson, you're doing the right thing. I know it. Your hard work is going to pay off. You know what? You're right. Thanks, TJ. I really needed that. Yeah, of course, dude. Now shake it off, all right? Leave all that stuff behind you and focus on your goals ahead of you. And right now, our goal is to finish this run. You're absolutely right. And I'm going to finish it before you. Oh, no, you're not. All right, boys, come on in. Settle down. I got a special announcement for the whole team. We finally made up our mind as to who the new starting quarterback is going to be. And congratulations. Brad, you're the starting quarterback. Oh, awesome. And Wilson, you're going to be running backup. Backup? No way, this got to be some kind of mistake. It was kind of a close call, but the fellow coaches and myself believe Brad is the better fit to lead the team. Sorry, Wilson. You can always challenge Brad for the job next year. No, this isn't right. All right, everybody. Now that that's settled, it's time to stop practice. Brad, I want you to take point. Oh, you got to catch no problem. Sorry, Wilson. Enjoy watching me from the sidelines where you belong. 
and welcome back to the show everybody my name is doug spalden as you already know and if you don't already know this man here well you're gonna this is brad he is the lead quarterback of the robloxian rfl football team now brad let's talk real quick about football yeah of course doug no problem we've been noticing that your team has been struggling under your leadership and you actually might not make it to the super bowl oh, no. trust me doug we're gonna make it and it's the first year of me leading everybody so they all just need to get used to like how i run things you know what i mean but there are rumors flying around that the coach is gonna put wilson in instead of you is that true oh yeah absolutely not trust me the coaches picked the right guy for the team i am gonna lead us to the super bowl trust and believe doug well i sure hope so because there's many people out there hoping that you win the super bowl me included well of course i want to win too and wilson is right where he belongs on the sidelines watching me win trust me the team doesn't want a subpar quarterback leading them that's for sure oh. <sighs> brad is the worst i should be the quarterback not him oh my gosh can i have your autograph oh yeah sure wait, oh never mind i thought you were brad oops wait but you know brad right can you give me his autograph no i'm not gonna get you his autograph just get lost wow okay fine whatever you suck Hey, Dad, what do you want? Yeah, hey, uh, I need you to stop by the house. I got something to talk about. Hey, Dad, I'm here. Um, yeah, about time you showed up. Uh, look, we gotta talk. Look, if you're trying to get me to quit football again, then you don't have to worry. I actually think I'm gonna quit after this season. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to, uh, I want to admit I was wrong. Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't happen often, but uh, I think you were right. I think it's time I tell you the real reason why I never wanted you to play football. The real reason? Dad, what are you talking about? I never wanted you to play because uh, I didn't want to see you hurt. I only focused on what I wanted instead of what you wanted. I wanted you to be safe and have a good job, I don't know, in an office somewhere or something. I wanted the best for you, but that's not what you want. Your football's really your passion and what you want to do, uh, I'm going to support you. Really, Dad? Wow, that means so much. What was this you talking about? You're gonna quit. Don't let losing starting quarterback get to you. You'll come back next when you're ready. It'll be the best. Trust me. Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Now, can you help me make some uh, jello? I really want some jello. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the fourth quarter and we are down to the wire. Oh, I got you. Oh. No. Brad, you, this has to be some of the worst football playing I've ever seen in my career. What is wrong with Coach, you? I'm doing my best, okay? They're just they're just a lot faster than I could think. Yeah, and I think I can't stand this any longer. Wilson, you're in. Wait, really? Did I stutter? Get in there. Brad, get off the field right now. No, this sucks. Hi, hut, hut, hike. Whoa, <laughs> TJ. Huh. And what an incredible catch by teammate TJ, where they have won the game with this final touchdown. Congratulations, Robloxians. Never in my history of sports announcement have I seen such a turnaround as this team right here. After Coach Reese switched out quarterback Brad for quarterback Wilson, the team has been on me up and up, and it has led them to this final moment, the Super Bowl, and the last play of the game. And the score is insanely close. Let's see how Wilson plays in these last final moments. All right, set, hike! All right, where is he? Where is he? There you are, TJ! Ha! Wow, ladies and gentlemen, yet again, the classic combo of Wilson and TJ have led to a touchdown, and Team Robloxians have won the Super Bowl. Wilson, Wilson, question over here. Yeah, William, anything you want. Well, I want to first congratulate you on winning your sixth Super Bowl. Six Super Bowls, dude, that's incredible. Well, thanks so much. I put in a lot of hard work. No, I hate to say it, man, but uh, you're getting a little older. Is there any chance that you're thinking about retiring? Retiring? No way. I haven't even thought about it. 